as an elder law attorney, people come to me and they, they know that Medicaid has very strict asset and income requirements. You have to have less than $2,000 worth of assets and earn less than $2,199 a month in income. And they say, well, I have this significant IRA or 401k or SEP or other qualified retirement account. So I guess this means that I can qualify because those are typically significant assets. And the answer is that Medicaid recognizes that people who have IRAs and 401ks, um, uh, that they, they, they've, they've saved their whole lives by working and, and they don't, they ought not to be penalized because of it. And so there are two options. If you have a sizable IRA or 401k where you can still qualify for Medicaid, the first option is you can cash out. And sometimes that brings with it an IRS tax penalty, um, but, but that is an option and sometimes a very valuable option where you cash out and then as, as a Medicaid planning attorney, I would shelter that money as if it were just sitting in your bank account. And then we get you qualified for Medicaid by just removing the asset. The other way is Medicaid has an exception where if you put the the qualified retirement account into uh, required minimum distribution RMD payout mode, then they will not count the IRA or 401k as an asset. But what happens in that situation is you have solved an asset problem by taking the asset and making it non-countable by turning it into an income stream, you have then perhaps created an income problem because you've added, in addition to Social Security, Medicaid counts all forms of income, including annuitized or, or IRAs and payout RMD status. So the answer to that is we then uh, write what's called a Miller Trust or Qualified Income Trust and we put the money into an account that it's designated as a Miller Trust account. And, and essentially the money all goes to the nursing home and you then qualify for Medicaid. And it's weird, I don't know why you need to do that. That's the law. It's sort of this legal fiction, but if the money is coming out of a Miller Trust, then it is not counted for Medicaid income purposes. So which one do I do? The next question is, I have this IRA, do I cash it out or do I put it in RMD uh, payment mode? And the, the general rule of thumb goes something like this. And I hate to be morbid, but if the Medicaid recipient is not expected to live a long time, then it makes more sense to put it into the income stream of the RMD payout mode because uh, all that income will go to the nursing home and after the Medicaid recipient passes away, then the IRA or the 401k will be transferred to the whoever's designated as the beneficiaries and it's, it's, it, w it wouldn't remain as part of the estate of the Medicaid recipient. Uh, assuming that the IRA or 401k has a benefit, beneficiary designation, we would talk to our clients about that, of course. If the Medicaid recipient is expected to live for quite a while, then it's going to make more sense to cash out, take the IRS tax penalty with it, and shelter that money because then instead of all that money going straight to the nursing home, the money, even with the penalty, can be sheltered and used to supplement my client's lifestyle and pay for things that, that Medicaid wouldn't otherwise pay for. So uh, better to have some take the hit, uh, the, take the tax penalty, and have some money left over and to buy some of the nicer things in life as opposed to all, having all the money just sitting there and as a continuous income stream going uh, straight to them to the nursing home. So any other questions about um, how to Medicaid plan when someone has a significant IRA or 401k, I'm certainly available to you.